cousin. How can I help you? I was just wondering what you were up to. Oh, I'm managing my club memberships. I use a spreadsheet to keep track of every club I'm enrolled in. She has a lot of paper in her hands. How many pages is that spreadsheet? all the clubs isn't a problem. It only starts to get stressful when I'm trying to prepare for finals and I'm practicing for the school play and it's the peak of wrestle ball season. What? What? Also, sometimes I'm campaigning for class president. But that's it. <laughs> that's it, huh? Well, not exactly. I usually have one or two after school jobs. Like being an idol. That's when it gets really crazy. What are you saving for? College? College? It's so I can still pay my bills during unpaid internships. On the job experience is very important. I never thought of that! And that's all on top of some of my other responsibilities. How are you alive? How can you do all that? Well, I take my time on Earth very seriously. Although sometimes it does get to be a little much. <laughs> you need an assistant. Or maybe a half dozen clones of yourself. Tomer already tried that. And who would ever want to be my assistant? An unpaid position, I should point out. I'll do it. I'm sure this will be some great on-the-job experience. I know, ridiculous, right? <laughs> Wait, you will? Wait, no, I can't, bad idea. No way, this is going to be great. Being Aki's assistant might be my ticket out of detention. If all these bad kids in detention rub off on me, I'll be a delinquent forever. Besides, I can learn so much from her. This is definitely the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> well, I don't need an assistant, but maybe we can hang out. Close enough. I will be your assistant, Aki. You need all the help you can get. So, like, what do you do for fun, Aki? Fun? Yeah. Like, in your free time. Free time. I've heard of it. You never, like, go home and play video games? Or just hang out with your friends? I have to go. Huh? I have to go. But I'll be back in a minute. Just, um... Just stay right here. Okay. Your faithful assistant will be waiting. Right here. least 10 minutes. Is she coming back? Did she blow me off? Maybe I'll ask around. Hey, does anyone know where Aki is? Like, where isn't she? Girlfriend is like everywhere. Every club, every sport, every subject, honey. She's so good at music club. What does she play? Only like every instrument. But you should see her go nuts on a tuba. I wouldn't guess it from looking at her, but she's really good at wrestle ball. What's it got to do with looks? I don't know. Wrestle ball players usually have super hot muscular bodies, like mine. Anyway, she's got the best aim on the team. She never misses her target, yo. And she always finds an opening. If I'm the brawn, then she's the brains. Well, no, I'm the brains too. Really, I'm the brawn, the brains, and the heart of the team. But uh, she's definitely like uh, some other vital organ, uh, like the hair. Anyway, she also plays a bunch of other sports like uh, baseball and uh, lacrosse or whatever. Uh, those fake sports that don't matter. But she's mad good at fake sports, too. I must admit, as the smartest student at this school, she comes very close to my own genius. She 
and I are the only students in the top percentile. We are the ones who throw the curve, as you simpler folks say. I've only seen her get less than 100% once, and it was a grading error on the part of her teacher. She corrected the teacher? Yes, and then the teacher was fired, and Aki taught the class for the rest of the semester. Wow. If she weren't so distracted by everything she participates in, she might become a worthy opponent. A opponent? For robot battle, of course. What's wrong with the school? Yeah, she never really has time to hang out. It's super disappointing. <sighs> After a big win, everybody gets together for like a victory pizza party. Except Aki. She always says she has to go study. Wish she can study my muscles. Everyone should. Anyway, can't say that I know her that well. <sighs> yeah. And she's always running off in the middle of conversations. It's like she's too busy. Affirmative, yo. Yeah, like, I get that she's always working and all, but sometimes it's mad rude. You're concerned with rudeness? Well, yeah. My manners are the best, yo. I've got news for you. Ordinary student Aki Matsuo is not so ordinary. I saw her disappear into the classroom the other day, and the person who came out was a superhero. Purple and pink, the works. She was sneaking around, hoping no one saw her. But there's no one better at sneaking around than me. So sad. Isn't it? She's hiding her identity from the whole school. So sad that you finally cracked, sweetie. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you're saying some crazy stuff, yo. Mad crazy! Using Occam's razor, my conclusion is that it's most likely you've lost it, rather than Aki. It's a simple determination. I'll be back. Uh, thanks for the info, guys. Well, most of you. You know, I was a little annoyed that she just ditched me like that. But hearing everything she does, it's kind of amazing. I was pretty irritated earlier, but I'm beginning to feel kind of grudging admiration for how single-minded she is about her goals. I was just looking at her as a way to get out of the tension, but I really couldn't learn a lot from Aki. Ah, uh, haha, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. I was talking to the other students about you, actually. You were? Yeah, and I just wanted to say, I really admire how much you're able to do. It's inspiring, Aki. Nice chatting with you. That was not the reaction I was expecting. She does do a lot, but I wonder if there's more to her than all the crazy stuff I've already learned. Another day, everyone is here. Remarkable. King agrees. Keep up this excellent behavior. See you at the bell. I wonder if anyone joined a club yesterday. Hey, Aki. Oh, hi. Sorry about yesterday. I just can't afford to fall behind on my schedule. It's okay, but maybe you have time today to have, you know, an entire conversation. Another round of perfect attendance. Splendid! Now if you keep this up, maybe one day you'll get to leave. See you at the bell. Everyone seems so restless. I wonder what they're planning to do today. Hey, Abby. Hi, cousin. <laughs> Could that be nervous laughter?
she'll definitely be a good influence on me. And I have to admit, her nervous laughter is making me wonder. I have to practice for the school play, though. Do you mind? I'll help whoever I can. Cousin, honestly, I'm surprised you came to see me. Most people give up because I'm always so busy. Well, I admire that. I'm hoping that I'll pick up some pointers. And you let me know if you need any tips for rolling stuff up. Mm. I'm pretty good at that. Oh. Thank you, cousin. But I've actually won the Namco City Roll Aid Trophy three years running. Wow, she is good at everything. I didn't even know there was a rolling competition. Oh. Mm. Well, I started it three years ago. Anyway, I should really get started. I need to memorize these lines. How can I help? Just hold the book and let me know if I get something wrong. Great! But soft, with light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. Whoa, she's pretty into the part about killing the moon. And she is a lot like the sun. Like bright and intense and ready to sear the eyes of the enemy. Whoa. Is this a feeling? What they call hero worship? That thou her maid art far more fair. Uh, um, don't go anywhere. I'll only be a moment. Ah, uh, I was in the middle of a monologue. Maybe that's her schedule alarm. But it always seems to ring at inopportune times. It always surprises her. And why does she always seem so tired when she gets back? Is she an undercover cop? Or maybe she has some crazy workout regimen for the WrestleBall team. But I've never seen any other WrestleBall players run off like that. Maybe it's an affair! How steamy. No, she definitely doesn't seem to have time for love. In fact, she doesn't seem to have time for people, period. Hmm. And really, it doesn't seem like any of those. But it's not any normal part of her schedule, that's for sure. She's so regimented, except for this one thing. She drops everything for the mysterious ringtone. Sorry, something came up. Thanks for waiting. Okay, cousin, play it cool. Just be real casual. You ever think about if, like, Shakespeare ever had a ringtone? And if he had one, which one he'd use? I am a mastermind. Uh... <laughs> ringtones? Why do you want to talk about ringtones? That is the most desperate laughter I've ever heard. I'm definitely on to something. That ringtone. You're a busy person, but every time that ringtone plays, you drop everything you're doing. I just thought it was strange. <laughs> it's just a crazy coincidence. Nydia says that coincidence is destiny. Maybe it's like a coincidestiny. Is she just saying whatever comes to mind? She's obviously not president of the Making Excuses <laughs> Club. Come on, let's get back to practicing. Go ahead, I'll be right here. <sighs> I guess I'll just read this play while I wait. Man, I can't believe I read Romeo and Juliet from cover to cover. That Shakespeare dude was pretty messed up. And people talk about violence on TV. Is this warrior? Phew. Hey, cousin. Listen, I'm really sorry I took off like that. I wish I could explain it to you. Aki? Of course it is. Who else would? I. Be. Ah! What? What? What are you wearing? Very daring. I have to go! Aki, wait! Aki! Oh! <laughs> Hi, cousin! Aki, why are you yelling? I'm not yelling! It's 
sorry. What was that all about? Students? Ordering in the hall? Are you skipping detention? Uh. Uh. Cousin, I'm not surprised that a troublemaker like you is rejecting the very moral pillars of society, but dragging Aki into it. Insidious! Diabolical! Actually, I'm the one who's in detention for too many tardies and absences. It's more likely that it's my fault, isn't it? Cousin, are you blackmailing this young lady? Why else would she give up her bright, shining future to defend your criminal acts? No, actually, I followed her out here. King has passed judgment on you. Both of you get DETENTION LEVEL 15! CRYOGENIC SUSPENSION DETENTION! LEVEL 16! Are we done here? Seems like all you riffraff decided to show. Admirable. But King insists it doesn't excuse any of your miscreant behavior yesterday. We're giving you another chance to accept your punishment. See you at the bell. I wonder if anyone else got in trouble yesterday. Hey, cousin. Hey, Aki. Are you angry at me? Not angry, just frustrated. It's your secret, and I'm sorry that I pried, but it got me into a lot of trouble. Well, technically, it was my total inability to control my curiosity. I was a little mad, but I'm over it. That's good. Listen, cousin, if you want to talk some more, I have something to tell you. I'll be here. I am pleasantly surprised you're all still here. But King wants me to remind you that we are not surprised you're still delinquents. See you at the bell. Another day in the weirdest school and the weirdest attention ever. I wonder how the others are doing. Aki! Hi, cousin. I know you're super busy and everything, but maybe we can hang out today. Sure. Today I'm taking soil samples over on Zweihanda Ridge. Honestly, there's something I wanted to talk to you about anyway. Wanna come with? Mind holding my notebook? I'll get the sample equipment. Thanks for carrying my notebook, cousin. It's no problem. That's what an assistant is for. <laughs> you want to be my assistant? I do. What's wrong, Aki? Well, cousin, I just wanted to apologize. I know I've been acting weird for a while now, and you've been really patient with me. Well, I did ask a bunch of questions that were maybe a little out of line. It's okay. Cousin, can you keep a secret? Of course. We didn't come out here to get soil samples. We didn't? No. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Can you keep another, bigger secret? Um, for sure. Like, really big. Like, huge. Like, we can't even talk about it over the phone because the NSA will totally get up in my business. NSA? Namco Security Agency. Right. Anyway, it's a huge, huge deal. Aggie, just tell me. She just took a really deep breath. Now she's fiddling with something. <gasps> Aggie, is that you?
It's me, cousin. I'm Amazona, a superhero who protects the Earth from interdimensional aliens. There are aliens? Aliens are real? Besides me, I mean. You're real? This is all... real? It is. But... but how? I'm not the first. I inherited my power from the previous Amazona. With this power comes responsibility. Cousin, intergalactic aliens known as the Waru are invading the Earth even as we speak. They must be stopped. So every time your theme song plays, you're leaving to go defend the Earth from alien invaders? Yeah. Sorry. No, don't apologize! That's a really good reason! Don't stop on my account. <laughs> That's the first genuine laugh I've heard from her. It's nice. I brought you up here to tell you the truth. This city and Namco High are my responsibility. I have to protect them. But the Waro attacks have been growing. Between that and trying to maintain a 4.0 and perfect club attendance, my relationships with the people around me suffer. Eki, aren't you lonely? I guess I am. But I can't slow down now. But Eki, you don't have to be perfect at everything. You can relax sometimes. And it's okay to rely on others. Sometimes two can do more than one ever could. But all that being said, I want you to know I truly admire how hard you work. Thanks, cousin. I wish the others could understand. If I can shoulder the burden in any way, I mean, my shoulders are very small, but I'm strong, super strong. Don't forget, I rolled Dig Dug's car up just last week. <laughs> Aki, I've been wondering, if defending the Earth is a priority, why all the classes? Why all the clubs? What's the point? You could defend the Earth and also have time for friends. To tell you the truth, sometimes I do wonder if I'm doing too much. I could be like all the other students, leading happy, fulfilling lives in this school, instead of living the never-ending life of a perfectionist. Be true to yourself. What does that mean, Pac-Man? What should I do? Be true to yourselves. Cousin, I was ready to go it alone, but will you help me? Yes, of course. I'll be the best assistant you ever had. And I'll keep your secret, too. Cousin, do you know the number one mistake most superheroes make? No infrastructure. Fighting aliens doesn't pay the bills. It doesn't get you the equipment you need to defend the Earth. It doesn't get you the upgrades you need as those threats become bigger. You're forever barely scraping by, battle after battle, wearing down till you finally lose. I'll never lose. I want to build something for all the Amazonas who come after me, so they'll be more prepared than I am. I'm still young. I want to use my time wisely. I'm going to build an empire. Looking back, those are still the most amazing words I've ever heard. The memory of that day has never faded. Everyone seems on edge today. It feels like something's going to happen. I have dire news! Pac-Man has been kidnapped by evil Namco High! The revelation is like a jackhammer, cracking my heart open like a geode of despair. The very thought that someone could kidnap Pac-Man, my friend and our beloved... Uh, what's he do here anyway? It doesn't matter! We've all wondered about that, but you're getting off topic. We have to rescue him. If only we could access security confiscatorium where all our special items are locked up. I have the combination right here, students. Because it's king! Go 
forth, students. Save Pac-Man! His fate lies in your hands! Okay, who can I count on to help save Pac-Man? Aki, let's fight together. I think we can do that. Is there room to pencil it in? We can make it your 3 o'clock. What's my 3.15? Studying for the school play. Of course. And don't forget to eat. A good meal means you can be running at 100%, maybe even 150. Ooh, right. I forgot. It's important to slow down for some of these essential things, Aki. Right, right. Wait, who's the boss here? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd better knock this Pac-Man thing out so we can get back to work. Are you ready? I've got your back. Right. Activate the Amazona transformation sequence. Let's save Pac-Man. And protect the Earth. In a timely manner, mind you. Thank you, students, for saving me. I thought I was a goner. Thank you, Pac-Man. We were only able to do it because we were true to ourselves. <laughs>